Hi, my name is Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and welcome back to my shop. It's been about three weeks since I've posted a video, and I'd like to give you an update of what's been going on. First off, my daughter came home about two and a half weeks ago. Uh, if you aren't aware, my daughter has been in the hospital for about six months. Uh, she was born premature back in January, and uh, she was about one pound, 11 ounces when she was born, and uh, had a six month stay in the hospital, and came home about two and a half weeks ago. Uh, she's been doing very well. Uh, she is home on oxygen and a feeding tube, so it's a, a bit of an adjustment and stuff, but uh, she's doing very well, and we are so, so happy to have her home. Uh, so that's going very, very well. Uh, I have been able to get some time in the shop, but I haven't gotten any woodworking done whatsoever. Uh, in my previous update videos, I've been telling you that I've been doing some maintenance in my shop. I've been moving things around and I've got some transitions happening in my shop. Now, uh, moving my heavy machinery around means that I need to move my 220 outlets uh, also. To do that, I needed to cut some holes in my ceiling and uh, run some electrical. So I needed to move outlets, I needed to go ahead and add some outlets, and things like that. Since I was adding uh, some 220 outlets, I decided to go ahead and also add some 110 outlets as well. So I have added 5 uh, 110 circuits and also 5 220 circuits throughout my shop. And uh, to do that, I needed to also add a sub-panel to, uh, to my shop as well because I didn't have any more room in my breaker box that I had already. So had to add a sub panel and do a lot of electrical. Now to give you a little bit of a rundown of some of the electrical that I've done, uh, I did run a, uh, uh, along the soffit that I've got, it's kind of a drop down in, in my ceiling here, uh, which is where my uh, ductwork for my house uh, runs. And uh, along this soffit here, it's right above me here, uh, I've got some outlets so it's kind of some overhead outlets here and as you can see right here i've got boxes going along the entire route here that have a white and an almond color uh outlet in in each box and the white represents one 20 amp circuit and the almond represents a second 20 amp circuit so I've got two 20 amp circuits going the length of this entire run here and I have access to both of those 20 amp circuits right side by side along this entire run. So if I have two tools that are going to use that are kind of high amperage tools and I don't want to run them off the same circuit, I could still plug them up right next to each other, uh, which is actually pretty handy when you're right right there so if you want to plug in a shop vac and another higher amperage tool right side by side you can actually do that without the worry of tripping a breaker at all so i've done that throughout the the length of my shop and uh, i think that's going to come in handy uh, especially having the overhead plugs right there uh, and i i did that going along the length there and then one at the wall on the far end over there and i've also added a bunch of lighting uh, if you remember in my uh kind of my pre-shop tour video, uh, my back half of my shop was very dark because I had no lights whatsoever. Well, so far I've added six lights back there, six four-foot fluorescent lights, and I'm, I've got two more that I'm going to be adding, and the only reason I haven't added those yet is because I've got a whole bunch of lumber in the way and I can't really get to it. So once I get the lumber moved out of the way, I'm going to be adding two more four-foot fluorescent lights, and I will end up having eight, eight four, foot, four foot fluorescent lights in that back area and it's already bright as daylight in the entire shop uh, with, with what I have. So I don't even necessarily need those extra two but I might as well keep it even throughout the shop as it is he here. So that's what I've been working on. So it's been a lot of work and uh, I haven't really done any woodworking, so that's the reason I haven't really posted any sort of video. Um, this is kind of the, the update that I'm giving you for now. Uh, I've got some more stuff coming up here pretty soon. Uh, I do have uh, a video that I am working on to post uh, somewhat soon, so be looking forward to that. I did get some mail in, however. Uh, so over the past couple weeks, I did get some stickers in the mail. I can't 
get to my sticker cabinet, so I'm not going to be putting those on the on the cabinet right now. Uh, also, there's a bunch of drywall dust everywhere, so I don't want to mess with any stickers right now. But I did get a sticker from the Wood Whisperer. I also got a sticker from Paul Mayette's Wood or uh, Wood Shop. I got a sticker from DIY Tyler. And I hope I pronounced this one correctly. This one came in from the Netherlands. Hot Bloom. Hot Boom. And Dan Inglewood, Future Scroll Saw artist, artist. Got one from Size Corner. And another one I hope I pronounced correctly. MertzkeyCustomWoodworking.com. And Envy Woodworks. And those are the stickers that I've gotten in most recently. But I don't know about you guys. Uh, I've been getting a lot of rain lately uh, in the Kentucky area. That's where, that's where I, I live. And we finally have some really beautiful weather. And we've been really actually enjoying it. We've been trying to get out, uh, out and about. So I hope you all are enjoying the weather. Or at least getting into your shop and actually enjoying some shop time. But uh, I've been down here doing a lot of work, and I still have a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, so I'm actually going to be getting right back at it. Uh, but I hope you guys are having a great time, and God bless.